right, and we're back. And we are about to finish up the first ramp. And then I'll give you a little tour over what we've uh, put up so far. And then we just need to figure out where to go from there. So we've got everything. The base is all reinforced with concrete. And as you can see, we've done the, uh, the wedge tips here, the wood wedge tips, and then reinforced them. And then let's see, and then for the second piece, we've done uh, wood wedge tips for the first layer, and then wood frame wedges for the second layer, is what we've been doing. And two blocks of those, and then we stretched up with three blocks with of a, or length I should say of just the regular wood frames and that's our flat piece and uh, all we're doing is putting the topping on everything's been reinforced in concrete except for the top layer and we're just putting the finishing touches on that and been starting to work on the reinforcing wall Alright, and here we go. So the ramp itself is done. First ramp. So what we've done here is we've worked on our le uh, the reinforcing walls. We're going to have it, th I'm not quite sure how I want to do it. I wanted to go three wide, but the reason I'm thinking I may leave this open is if we need space for electronic wiring. Uh, I want to be able to have room in case we need to throw up resistors or whatever. But I think I'm going to have these uh, pillars uh, here to, re to be reinforced like this. And we're probably going to uh, increase the verticality uh, and get ready to reinforce our second ramp through a series of these pillars here. So that's kind of the game plan that I'm thinking. And then if I do want to add extra reinforcement, probably what I might do on this side is I might just simply uh, oh, here let's go uh, on face throw a couple of these down you know and then we can always we can always extend a block out this way here I'll have to switch that up here a little bit Right there. So we're just going to use it as an example. But this is one way we could possibly extend if we wanted some extra protection. And it would serve as sort of a counter to any uh, zombies that might crawl up, you know. So there's a possibility. But what we need to figure out now, again, keeping in mind what we need to get ready to add is the. Uh, the shooting platforms and that's for us for the players and we're gonna and they're gonna be symmetrical one on each end and of course this won't be here this is gonna be completely open but I'm, I'm kind of setting it up so we'll see what happens when it when we set up a layer up um, my thought process here I'll go ahead and show you here uh, my thought process is the zombies come up here and here's as far as the zombies go and we're probably going to give them, uh, how do we want to do this? We're going to give them some ladders. Uh, do we want the ladders to be, do we want just one ladder here in the middle perhaps? Uh, so that they climb up to the next level? Or do we want it sideways? I'm not quite sure how to orient the ladders. But we're going to keep this gap here. Uh, the platform is going to be over here, and we want to lure or bait the zombies to try to jump across. So that's the idea. Um, so what I'm thinking is the zombies are going to attempt to jump and they're going to fall. 
when they fall and land, they're going to need to be able to exit and leave and go back to the front. So that's kind of what we need to do. So I don't know how big of a gap I want it to have. I don't know if we put if we put our platform this far and we only have a one block gap. Is that going to be enough space for them to jump and fall? I don't know that. So what I'm thinking for right now is... Um, and again, I think I might want to leave this channel open here. Okay, this is going to be our, uh, our our ladders here. So I'm thinking, okay, let's see. I'm thinking tentatively our shooter's platform is going to be here four blocks by five. Five by four, I'm thinking. And I don't know if I want to connect it to the reinforce to the uh, defensive wall or not. So that's something that we have to think about. Um, and I think what I might do, the reason I'm, I'm going to leave it two blocks for now is because I think we may want to bait them by having half blocks or plates and those are going to register as paths and that will be the bait to get them to jump. When they jump at us, what we want to do is have a, like a block that's mounted up a little higher that they kind of bang their heads on, and that's going to cause them to fall. So that's the general idea, I think, that we're doing. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Um, probably what I might do, I'm going to finish this shooter's platform. Uh, we're going to get it up to the level of the ramp. And then uh, what I might do is I'll kind of look around and try to find a wandering zombie and bait him over here. And then see if we can get him to jump across. So that's kind of my game plan right now. And again, whether I connect them with the back part of these uh, reinforcing uh, these barriers, I don't know. You're probably thinking, well, why am I putting a gap there to begin with? Uh, but again, when the zombies fall here, that's kind of what I'm thinking we want them to do, possibly. Uh, it might be a good idea. Or do we want them to just simply not be able to fall and go straight up to the next level? So these are decisions that we have to make here. And I'm not sure. We can make the decision later when the time comes. Uh, but if we're going to, if we want them to move straight up, then we'll go ahead and reinforce this here. We'll probably connect, uh, connect the shooter's platform with the barricades and then seal these channels off here. So that's kind of the idea that I have for now. Um, I just want to get the basic structure in place first, and then we'll worry about the details here shortly. But for right now, like I said, I just want to go ahead and build these up. And uh, yeah, so we're going to get this uh, main shooter's platform up to the level of the ramp, and then we'll go from there. So we'll be back here in just a moment.